what's happening what's happening what's happening welcome back into jc's pop culture with me jc where you can see all kinds of pop culture content could be anything from trailer reactions to movie news or what we have today ea sports college football news that's right we got another college football 25 update you know it's kind of been the calm before the storm and shit right it's been a little bit quiet on the front now with everyone waiting for may we're getting the full reveal there so they've kind of been mum on a few things we're not getting as many leaks as we were getting previously. So that's why we haven't been putting out as many updates here on the JC's pop culture channel, but hopefully those are going to be ramping up in the near future, especially once May rolls around, we'll have a ton of things to react to. So if you're a fan of this game, be sure to subscribe here to the channel. If you haven't already, that being said here on this update, the shit that we got ready, I was pretty exciting though, because we got another update from Chris Fowler. You know, he's been sharing little videos talking about the voice sessions he's been doing. He shares his latest, which seems like it'll be his last one before he finally finishes it up with his work on the game so that's how close we know that we're getting to release because he's talking about finishing up all of his work which is probably you know nearly finishing touches that they're putting on this shit and everything so that's really excited i'm going to react to that video then of course we've had some pictures that have been revealed you know of the missouri stadium nea sports college football 25 or at least a you know pre-alpha version of the game you know these pictures i do want to preface are probably a couple years old at this point but that shouldn't you know get you any less excited about this shit because these pictures look awesome awesome. I mean, they're more detailed than probably anything you see on Madden. And we're talking about stuff from the pre-alpha stage a couple years ago. So I want to share those that came out since the last time I've had a chance to talk about this game. And of course, Kirk Herbstreit appeared on the Pat McAfee show and just kind of confirmed when we're going to be getting this game released here, of course, in July, like we've all kind of been speculating and expecting. So let's dive in first here with Chris Fowler's latest video, talking about some of the voice work for the College Football 25 video game. And I believe Chris Fowler shared this on his Instagram, but of course it's been making the rounds on social media since then. This post is from uh, Is It Out EA, which is Is EA Sports College Football Out, an account there on X slash Twitter. Give it a follow, of course, if you're a fan of this game, but a huge update by Chris Fowler. Let's check it out here. Welcome. Home voiceover room for the EA Sports College Football Game. A little quick update here. We're deep into fourth quarter in this process. Only a few more days of voiceover recording, and our part of the game is going to be done. Uh, Kirk and I have one more joint session where we kind of simulate the booth banter. My last session, I'm told, is going to be recording hundreds of player names. Yeah, Very cool. No players in the game for the first time as they opt oh, in yeah. and get compensated. So that'll be the final day uh, in a couple of weeks here. I re-recorded a bunch of the high-intensity calls to give more energy. I just didn't like what I heard when they played back for me a simulation of Ohio State Versus Michigan, Buckeyes score a touchdown on a 75-yard pass on the opening play of the game. Oh, that's juicy. And you got to have incredible energy mixed with surprise when you call that kind of play. Didn't like what I heard, the way the computer stitched together the various little calls. Just didn't fit. I wanted it to sound like Xavier Worthy scoring against Oklahoma on the first play of the Red River game a few years ago. So I listened to that callback. I wanted the game to match that level of intensity. So we went back and recorded a bunch of those kind of calls. And at the end of it, you, you, your voice is trashed. You feel like as spent as you are after calling a real game, sitting in this booth, oh, yeah, trying to get to that place when you're in a stadium calling the game. So um, yeah, a little behind the scenes, getting near the finish line. I'll give you one final report when we're done. Hey, we're getting close. You heard it there. One final report when we're done. So the next time we hear from Chris Fowler, his work on the game will be done and will be that much closer to release. But man, so much shit there gets you excited. Not only that, of course, being that close to being finished, but how about the little tidbit of him, you know, wanting to redo the call because he wanted to sound more realistic. And, you know, I want to plug in here if I can find it. The call he's talking about of Xavier Worthy scoring a touchdown on the first play of the Red River rivalry. And uh, right here is what he's talking about. And just listen to the excitement in his voice and how good this is going to sound. Imagine this if you're scoring a touchdown in the open and play an EA Sports College Football 25. Up behind Thompson. They fake it to him and pitch it out to the perimeter. And that's Xavier Worthy. The talented freshman's off and running. It's a sprint. They will catch Worthy. Texas touchdown on the opening play. 75 yards. So fuck yeah, doesn't that get the juices rolling, man? Just getting more hype for this game the closer and closer we get to release date. And having said that, here's something else that'll just really get your juices flowing even more. If you haven't seen this already, I'm sure a lot of you have. But just for those of you that haven't, I wanted to share here on this update 
Um, this is from Billy Jones, 615, a reporter there for Missouri. You know, a sunshine law request, which is kind of a FOIA request there in the state of Missouri. He was able to obtain some new renderings for Farrow Field that will appear in the new EA Sports College football game. The school also sent in gold and black jerseys to EA for development. But check out these pictures here. I'll pull them up so you can kind of get a closer look potentially, but you can see it's kind of different variations of night and day in the pictures, different angles of the stadium. So all kinds of things that stand out there. Obviously, the detail of the stadium is spot on from what I've seen Missouri fans talk about. Even, you know, the city background, kind of the skyline there, whatever you want to call it, that shit looks good. They've got, of course, the giant, you know, jumbotron. Uh, but what's really, I think, most exciting to me from these pictures that I picked up on the most is if you look at the crowd, you see that shit, it's, you know, the synchronized stripe the stadium shit that's what they call it at wvu when they stripe it gold and blue i know other stadiums have their names for it and shit but to me this means i think that we'll be able to maybe i don't know if it'll be something we'll be able to select potentially or if the crowds will just do it based on you know the type of uniforms that you wear but how fucking cool is it if they're going to include the ability to have you know stadium promotions for your you know select games whether it's you know in play now or, or just only in dynasty mode that would still be pretty cool because i know wvu does stripe the stadium they do a gold rush where all the fans all wear gold trying to have the whole thing gold. They do a blue, a true blue game where they're trying to do the whole thing blue and shit. So I know there's all kinds of promotions like that. You get the whiteouts at Penn State, you know, on down the list. Tons of teams do blackouts. So uh, that would be a really cool addition. And it looks like there's certainly the ability to do it to some extent because the crowd is definitely striped here. And like I said, these are from the pre-alpha stage, guys. So we're talking not even close to beta, not, you know, way before out. I mean, before alpha even. So, you know, probably two years old at this point, and that shit looks – Hella good, so I'm really excited for this, and these images do nothing to temper your hype uh, for this game coming out here in the near future. And we know exactly when it's going to be coming out. You know, we've all talked about July. We don't know the exact date, but just further confirmation of that July release date from uh, Kirk Herbstreet's mouth here on Pat McAfee show the other day. Hey, you're voicing it, right? We, that's still happening? When's that come out? Do we know? Has that been announced and everything? July. I think it comes out in July, yeah. my understanding. So there you have it. Naysayers be damned. This game is coming out. It's coming in July, just like we all have kind of expected it to since, you know, it was originally announced and confirmed for this year. It always came out in July. Seems like they're going to hold true with that here with this 2024 release, guys. So just a couple months away, and more importantly, just a month away now, or less than a month, really, from, you know, the target date of May when we're going to start getting a shit ton of stuff revealed about this game, and I can't wait to get to May. And every little piece that's revealed along the way there, we're going to cover it here on JC's podcast. Culture. So like I said, if you're a fan of EA Sports College football, be sure to subscribe here to the channel. But also if you like movies and TV shows, especially horror, comedy, superheroes, all that shit's right up my alley. So if it sounds like it's up yours too, hop along for the ride here. JC's Pop Culture by hitting that subscribe button. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Give me a like on the video before you head out. Helps a shit ton with the YouTube algorithm. Um, you know, Leave your thoughts in the comments. How excited are you for EA Sports College Football 25? Do these you know, updates from you know either Chris Fowler or Kirk Herbstreet you know, the announcers for this game get you even more hype. And how do you feel about those kind of first look images we get there of the Missouri Stadium via the FOIA request? So pretty exciting stuff here in this latest update for EA Sports College Football 25. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Appreciate those interactions. They help here on the channel as well. Having said that, I appreciate you tuning into this video here on JC's Pop Culture, and I'll catch you on the next one.